So this was in 1973, and I had graduated earlier in the year with my master's degree in food science with a enology specialization. We were basically spending our entire net worth on a trip to France. And when we were in Marseille, we would decide to hang out at some bars. In the afternoon, uh, people were enjoying little snacks that the, that the tavern owners would provide, but the, the beverage was vermouth on the rocks, sweet vermouth. And I appreciated from then, that point on what a delicious uh, drink that can be, all by itself. Vermouth was originally a medicinal beverage. And this is one of the reasons why people would tend to use their leftovers to make vermouth, because why would you take a great wine and add herbs to it? When my dad came along and was challenged to make a vermouth that actually tasted good, the first thing he did was go back and say, well, let's start with quality ingredients. We are a lucky, unique here at Quality Winery because we have been working with Muscat grapes from the beginning. That alone is part of the base, and that alone really makes something that's unique in vermouth because it's so aromatic. Muscat grapes have an, an aromatic character that just blows up in your face, and using a dry white as a carrier, because if we put all orange muscat in this, it would be too overpowering. It wouldn't be a vermouth anymore. And the other component, only with a sweet vermouth, but I add some port, and um, it, it has this, a juicy, earthy kind of character to it, so just complements the sweet vermouth, you know, completely. So I came up with a formula for Vaya. After about two years of fooling around with botanicals and uh, extracts, for example, here I've got some chincona bark. Chincona bark is mainly about bitterness. Lavender is extremely aromatic. Alfalfa has a very, very delicate, but rather pleasant component that reminds you a little bit of freshly mown hay. Another plant that we use is a rose petals. A lot of these herbs are like from all over the world. It's like Christmas. Every time I get a package or a bale of herbs, they show up. You untie it, you know, you look at them, you smell them and all that. And uh, Darren Peterson, the winemaker here, he's the one that actually gets to, you know, put his hands in the herbs, take them out and throw them into the batch that we're making. Consistently, we want our products to be known for uh, delivering the same punch each time. Uh, there's a little variation in terms of how the components go together and the synergy they have, but the idea is that they're a peak flavor, uh, they're explosive, um, that uh, wh what we're getting in bottle right now is what we can anticipate with the new bottle that we go into. And then you have to be mindful of the fact that a lot of times these products will go into other products. Vaya makes a very balanced, aromatic, an interesting cocktail because it in itself is a very balanced and aromatic and complex vermouth. It can really play with the gin if you're using Via Extra Dry, for example, in a gin martini, or Via Whisper Dry in a vodka martini. Whisper Dry is our vodka vermouth because it's so subtle. You put Via Sweet in a Manhattan and you'll have something that is spicier with more aroma want to use at least an ounce of vermouth and then you have a less alcoholic uh, and very robust Manhattan. It's really very versatile and it, it kind of starts to open your imagination up to you know what you like and what you can do with it. You know the expertise that our winemakers have here at Quaddy Winery um, in fortified winemaking is something that I think really shows in every bottle that we make. The grand idea was to create a picture in your mind which would make you want to recall uh, certain important memories. Dry vermouth would make you think of, of springtime, of flowers, of fresh green plants, freshness. Sweet vermouth has these heavy, heavy spices and a little, some bitterness and sweetness. So sweet vermouth is more about wintertime. It's like in you're in your mother's kitchen and she's baking Christmas cookies at Christmas time because the house is full of a nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, cardamom. It smells like that. And so that was what I decided to do about the sweet vermouth, is to th sort of think of it as a way that evokes memories of your past. And so that's where it sort of started. That was the, sort of the grand design. 